All right, welcome to another video. Uh, <coughs> I've shown you what hardware we're going to be using for uh, for this project. Uh, that was in the last video, and now we've come to the part where we need to uh, start configuring stuff. Now, on that uh, on that machine that I've shown you in the last video, I've installed Proxmox and I installed two uh, virtual machines on it. Uh, each with uh, Ubuntu Server 2204 uh, so yeah one of those uh, machines will be used for spraying so-called spraying uh, and the other one will actually be used as uh, uh, as a, a node in, in our Kubernetes cluster uh, we're in this video we're going to be covering how to uh, spray the Kubernetes onto your cluster uh, and uh, yeah we're gonna be following the uh, official documentation for that uh, and yeah as you can see we have two uh, two terminal windows one of them is uh, we have um, let me show you okay uh, also what I did was uh, I've enabled root uh, accounts on those virtual machines, and uh, I've uh, allowed them uh, allowed the virtual machines to be SSH'd into with root uh, with, with the root account. So root at ten four zero one eight four. Okay, so that's that's the the one that we're going to be using for spraying Kubernetes onto our cluster. And the other one is SSH root at 10.4.0.200. So this one actually has uh, a fixed IP address because we want it to remain the same. Uh, the first one doesn't really matter uh, because we're only be going we're only going to be using this machine, this virtual machine, for the installation of Kubernetes, and that's it. Uh, later. In, during the life of our provider uh, we might need this machine from time to time to add a node to remove a node or uh, things like that but uh, usually yeah you, you you really don't need this once this is done you can almost safely uh, remove it although if you can keep it keep the uh, keep the configuration and the, and the uh, yeah so let's uh, okay so first things first um, what we need is to clone the Kubernetes uh, we need to clone the Kubernetes project, so yeah, we are already in the uh, home directory of the root user, and uh, we're gonna clone the. Uh, I'm just copying and pasting the commands directly from the documentation, so you can do that as well. Uh, okay, I already did this, so let me remove. Kubi. Okay. There's no Kubi spray anymore. So let's go back and clone this. Okay. Next we need to move into Kubi spray. Okay. So what we need is uh, we also need to install a few prerequisites. Those are the tools that we're going to be using for installation. I've already installed this, but uh, again, I just just copy and pasting the commands directly from the uh, from the documentation. So yeah, I suggest you do the same. Uh, we need to uh, 
specify which uh, virtual environment we're going to be using. Uh, this command, the, the last command, this one, uh, actually creates the venv folder here. Let me show you in the Kubispray ls. Uh, venv so this folder with all its contents has been created just now uh, now we need to activate the virtual mach the, the virtual environment and we need to start the installation of the requirements uh, for uh, for for the kubi spray so yeah we're gonna wait a few minutes for this to finish although again I have already did this on this machine uh, so yeah okay so that's done so moving on this is step number three we need to create the SSH uh, key pairs on the Kubi spray uh, machine so this machine needs to have uh, direct root access SSH access to all of your nodes that you plan on using for this project we are on, we're only using a single node uh, and that's the this one ping 10 4 0 200 not 20 but 200 okay one more time 200 here we go so it's reachable and we can SSH directly 10402200 and we're in so I again I've already done this uh, however it, it's really simple to actually do this it's uh, just uh, again follow the uh, follow the instructions directly in the documentation and uh, yeah the first command the SSH key gen this command will actually create your SSH key pairs. I've already done that. And once you have run that command, you can just ls, and you will find your authorized keys. Is the 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 file that uh, the SSH daemon, uh, the SSH server daemon will look into uh, when uh, it receives an SSH uh, connect requests from the outside basically this is this is where you will want to paste your keys uh, if you want it uh, 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 yeah root uh, any kind basically of access to this machine without using the password username and password so idrsa this is the private key you do not want to share this with anyone and this is the public key and basically um id rsa dot pub what you want is to copy this part uh in the documentation there is a simpler way i suggest you follow the the documentation however I, i'm just telling you what's going to happen uh, behind those commands this is going to get copied onto the other machine into the cat authorized keys so yeah this is the kubi spray this is the part and there is another i already added one one more key into it so i can uh, ssh into it okay so hope this part made some sense uh, i suggest again you just co uh, uh, copy and paste the commands directly from the documentation and uh, yeah. the goal here of this whole uh, step step number three is so that when you type ssh node one uh, sorry ssh and then ip address 10.4.0.200 you you are not asked for the username and password and that you have uh, actually uh, uh, logged in as root user so this is the prerequisite for the kubi spray uh, to work uh, one more thing let's go actually let's go back into this window let me just show you another thing cat etsy 
ssh sshd config so in in this file in this file here uh, it's important to let me find here permit root login I've added yes this is usually this line is usually commented out so basically uh, you're not allowed to uh, by default on all any Ubuntu install you're not allowed to SSH into the machine uh, with the root account so you have to uncomment this line and uh, you can either put here yes or uh, no password leave uh, that by default it's no password so yeah and then once you've changed this you also need to uh, sudo pa uh, sudo password root so this command will uh, enable the root account because it's by default it's disabled on all Ubuntu installs uh, and once you've done that you just need to system system control or kettle uh, restart sshd so yeah so that all these settings that actually take uh, effect so back to the kubi spray we need to create uh, the ansible inventory file so uh, again copy and paste the commands from the documentation uh, let's start CD into kubispray and copy the sample uh, inventory file and then we need to replace the IP addresses so we need to declare the IP addresses Okay, copy and paste again, and I only have a single IP address. So if you had more than one uh, machine in your cluster, you would leave the brackets on and you would specify all the uh, IP addresses uh, from your cluster here. Okay next ah, wrong copy okay config file so with this command the last command uh, we've actually uh, created uh, the d default uh, inventory file for the kubi spray okay Okay, so let's uh, cut that file. Uh, spray inventory. Uh, Akash host. Okay, so that's the file that got created. Uh, we will need to add some stuff to it. So we actually need to nano that file. Okay, so not cut but nano or vi, whichever one you prefer. And in here, uh, in the file, we need to specify some more variables. Again, follow the. I'm saying that a lot, but uh, there's a reason. And uh, uh, yeah, follow the uh, the documentation to the letter and uh, in this file make sure you have added all the uh, appropriate indentation so it has to look like this in the end yeah so this last line was actually added last because the newer kernels uh, do not uh, are doing some offloading and uh, yeah the calico which is the router part of the cluster does not like that and uh, it can break some networking 
okay once we have created this uh, file and added the uh, these variables we need to save it exit and continue uh, continue following the documentation step five we need to go to the okay well, again copy paste from the documentation and nano k at k s cluster yaml and in this file we need to make sure that uh, container so in this file we need to make sure that the container d is the uh, uh, the correct uh, container manager yeah so we're searching for a container and this has to be specified as container D. Uh, it is specified like that uh, by default, so most uh, most probably you will not be needing to change this. Next step six: go back to the Kubi spray and copy and paste the Ansible playbook uh, command and wait for as long as it takes for it to finish. Uh, now this machine that I'm using is crazy fast so I presume that this will take I don't know maybe five minutes or ten minutes. Uh, basically what it's doing is it's quote-unquote spraying the Kubernetes installation to all of the uh, all of the nodes that we specified in the uh, uh, in the uh, yeah when we were creating the the inventory file and uh, yeah it's uh, it'll, it's just gonna be uh, copying all everything there and uh, making sure that uh, they can all talk to each other and uh, yeah once this is done the kubi spray part of the video is done and uh, yeah in the next video we're gonna be covering the uh, Helm charts install which will actually install the correct pods onto our Kubernetes uh, cluster and this will basically enable our uh, provider. Um, in the last video or maybe I will take a few minutes of the next video I'm gonna just uh, show you and we're gonna talk about uh, what uh, uh, ports on your firewall need to be forwarded uh, and uh, yeah a bit of networking and uh, yeah so yeah I'm gonna speed this up this part up and uh, yeah see you when this uh, kubi spray is done all right so this is done let's uh, let's check if we have kubi kettle yes it does, we do let's see if we can kubi kettle get nodes here we go we have node one which is this same machine uh, and yeah it's it's actually installed from earlier but uh yeah the same result will be if have had we actually installed this now so um yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed it in the next video like i said earlier we're gonna be covering the helm charts install uh, that part what uh, what will actually happen is uh, all the pods will get uh, the pods that are the part of the akash uh, services and uh, the other support services will be installed and uh, yes one, once that is done we will have a working akash uh, provider cluster uh, all that will remain to be done is uh, to actually get the domain name and uh, yeah do some dns uh, configuration and uh, port forwarding and that's it so yeah looking forward to that uh, like share and su subscribe please uh, shout out to my buddies at akash and uh, yeah See you in the next one.